Civic leaders openly recognize the community has a fix, if you will, on the legitimate goods and services that cash from the drug industry is buying. Oh yeah, I'd love to go shopping. The most shopping I did was at Keeneland's. I bought race horses. My biggest thing was the horses. Instead of dropping 10, 20,000 shopping, we dropped 100,000 on a horse. I had 40, 50 horses at a time, race horses. You know what they cost a month to feed? 50,000 a month just for the horses, just to feed them. Forget about the guys that paid, took care of them. I remember my first time I went to Keeneland's. We took a Learjet up there, my girlfriend and I. John said he was gonna get my credit okay there. Tony, no problem, you're John's girl. Whatever you want, will a million be okay? And I was like, okay. And you know, if you wanted to send your kid to college, uh, no one cared if you paid cash. There wasn't a problem with spending cash. There are other signs of changes. Buyers are putting more cash down on a car, and they notice payment is more likely to be in cash now instead of by credit card. I had a turbo Porsche. I had a Mercedes back then. The 6.9 was the, the hot car. You know the old Mercedes, the Gullwings, wings where the doors open in the air? I put 200000 into that car and never drove it one day. I had three cigarettes hanging in the backyard, two cougars. I had mountain lions living in my house. Then I had a full-time carpenter. I had a full-time mechanic for my boats. I had a mechanic for my helicopter. I had a pilot to fly the helicopter. And I used to gamble. I would sit on a weekend and I'd bet $100,000 on a football game. And I had a guy who used to come every Monday to my house and he'd know if I won or lost because his job was to go around the house and see what was broken, the walls, the TVs, and just fix everything. And that was all he'd do. It didn't matter though. It was never like, uh-oh, I don't have enough money to buy this. Well, what, you know, how could that be? 